Hi, this is Massa from The Great White Nose. Uh, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Spellbook from MetaZoo, a product that I really like, uh, that contains tons of things and that have a very good value. So let's open it. Um, let's get my trusty scissor. Let's try to open this. It looks like a notebook, it's nice. Not lucky, this one is really not damaged. Um, the, not, the spell book can be a bit damaged during shipping just because uh, they are a bit empty on the top. Um, The famous map. If you watch the first video, I mentioned this map, which I think is awesome. All right, I'm gonna have a pro field of view. <laughs> um, but you see, this is a great white nose. This is where we are, guys. And this is quite cool like that. Technically, we are around here. Uh, my drop is off. Monster. and you have the list of all the different cryptid uh, this goes for a very nice poster oh I didn't know this is so nice all right I'm gonna try to zoom out a bit we have a play mat behind I mean, it's a paper one but that's still extremely useful okay well we're gonna use that for our play test video yeah, this beautiful map. Uh, so I mean, ideally, you just for the collection, you just check each time you pull one of those. But I like this map so much, and you can see like uh, which number, which monster, where it is. Matlox is number one. Uh, I don't know if you like space penguin. Forty-four, forty-four. Where space penguin are here? Wherever this is. They do call it Metazoo USA, which disturbed me a bit because, well, it's Metazoo North America. So this map is really, really nice. Okay, so this was for the map. What else do we have? We have this promo, Cryptid Nation. Contract a page for the Metazoo Cryptid Nation set without paying its array costs from your chapter. This is actually useful. So it means you, you play that and you can play a card from your hand without paying it cost. If it were Magic the Gathering, this would be bad. Uh, yeah, so a card worth keeping. What else do we have? Something very important. Wow, I got a Spirit Aura, that's pretty nice. So we get a bunch of, of Auras. We get 10 of each Auras and one Holo at random. And as you saw, when we opened boxes, we didn't get 10 of each and uh, you get like 2 or 3 of each in average and you need around 10 for a deck. So you really need a spell book, that's really my recommendation. What else do we get? We get a coin. It does look, so that's the coin that we get and it looks different from, this is a get you get from the, the card you get from the blister, it's gold with a mossman behind, Metazoo first edition. And this feel a bit more heavy, also made as a first edition. But in the back, this is the same art as what you see on this card. It's like a team with all the different main monsters. Alright, and put things here. There's a map, lots of stuff. We have 10 boosters, which is nice. I'm gonna open them. I think you guys want to see it, so I'm, I'm gonna open them. Everybody likes to see people cracking booster. We have another rule book. It's exactly the same as the one in the release pack. We have some very nice sleeve. Um, it's only 40, 
I think. Uh, let me check, double check. No, 60, perfect. So your deck is 40 cards and you need 15 sideboard. It's feel pretty slim. Um, I mean, they look great. And you know what? We're gonna sleep something. Well, we, if we pull a very good card, we're gonna sleep it. And something extremely important is this token piece. Uh, you can order more token from the marketplace. And actually, I think I'm gonna order some more for our shop. Um, because those are super useful. Uh, so this is when you put a creature to sleep, when a creature is scared, poison, uh, frozen, uh, confused, burn, burrow. Uh, now when you get two of each, maybe it's enough. But you don't get any life. One, you know, like to put 20 life or stuff like that. To get those, you need to go to, you need to, go to the marketplace. Uh, maybe one day we can check what how is the marketplace and what is worth getting? But definitely, yeah, you need at least those. Um, and they keep breaking, so it's not going to be very comfortable for transporting. You need those. So, well, that's all in the box. I mean, I'm just probably pretty happy. You know what? Let's crack the booster. So, I really want a uh, holo mossman because I had to give away the one I pulled before. And I want some uh, quets, also full hollow. And my favorite, the uh, frogman, I can never have too many. Lake Wars monster that actually make my deck today. I had a, I had a small tournament and I play with it. White Sang, Miracle Touch, High Spell, which is a good card, Balancing Beam, and Giant, Giant Salamander, Reverse Foil. It's a good card, but that's, a, that's just a common, so it feels pretty, pretty sad. Um, what else do we have next? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Chibi Mossman, Necromancy, Paradise, Hoop Snake, Rock Ring, Retribution, and oh my god, the bad luck. Ah, <sighs> uncommon. Can Kentucky head on? Alright, two boosters, still no rare. Pretty sad. I hope it's not a sad day for Metazu. I an astronaut, invisibility, with a card that I really love. Alright, a holy gem. It's a reverse holo. I really want to make a full collection of the holo, but maybe a full collection of reverse holo could be cool too. Um, Alright, still no hit. I think I used all my luck in the first video. <laughs> um, bookmark, very good card. Button is get. Oh no, but that's. Wow. Alright. Three, bo four boosters and only one rare. That feels really sad. This is not like super playable card. Giant Salamander is, a, is, a, is an okay card. So I don't mind it that much, but the rest. Is better. Okay, four booster and just one rare. Sad, sad, sad. Space penguin. Sad rabbit fruit. Power green. Oh my god. Wow. Well, Alright. Well, I don't like to complain, but that's the worst ever. Um, so, that's quite three, three common, one unco, and one rare. That's very bad. Um, and not even a full holo for the way. Still nothing worth a nice sleeve. Uh, lighting a bottle, ice pass. Oh my god, is that even possible? Another common. Okay, are we trying to get the worst 10 booster possible? Because I think 5, yeah, 5 common. One reverse follow. I think we are really at the <laughs> at the bottom of what we could pull. Um, but you know what? If I get a very good card like a full holo mossman or quets, I will be happy. All right, one, two, three, four, four common. One, two, 
Yanko. Well, I guess, I guess we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna get the worst box ever. The worst, well, the worst spellbook box ever. That's an Anko. <coughs> I didn't have it, at least there is that. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, I have a friend today who opened his release box and he had three boosters and he got three rare. One full auto and two reverse auto and he said, like, is that good? Because you would assume there is one rare per pack. And I said, yeah, that, that's really, really good. All right, give me at least a rare. No, that's next one. What do we get? Rare. All right, Vista of Busco. A card that I like, but that is kind of, I think the, they need to change the text a bit. Because they, so when you play it, you put your hand on it and what touch your finger get uh, uh, damaged, but it's kind of very difficult in practice. That's a reverse holo. Not really what I'm looking for. If this was a full holo, I would be happy. At least that's not a common. Uh, all right. Oh, Chupacabra reverse holo. Nah. That's not great. Last booster. Well, you know, people tell me about like, oh, why people who stream or post video on YouTube always get like crazy booster and crazy card. Well, see, oh my God. Okay, so 10 booster, we got three reverse rare. Reverse holo rare, five common and two uncle. Well, that's probably the worst 10 booster you can ever get, but uh, I, I hope you still enjoy the, the video. I will keep those tips for something else. Uh, conclusion of the release box, the spellbook, sorry. I still think that's an excellent product uh, because you get all those aura, uh, you get 10 booster. If you get an average luck, you will get six, seven rare, not like me. So yeah, thanks for tuning in.